tube. This is my shrimp tank. I think most of you have seen this before. If you haven't, here we go. And that is my gigantic, overgrown chunk of java moss that I got from my local fish store. I have to somehow trim some of this down. I don't know what I'm doing and tie it into my white cloud tank and see if we can do some breeding in there. I'm looking forward to the project and if we don't butcher it, hopefully it still comes out looking pretty in the end. So let's see what happens. Alright, well there we go. I didn't want to take too too much off, but it definitely makes it at least look a little better on the one side. I have quite a few baby shrimp running around, so I didn't want to take off too too much because that's a lot of their food. See I'm just running. Well, I'm going to take what I dropped off downstairs. Alright, so this is the tank that we want to try and breed the white cloud minnows in, as it currently sits. Uh, I'm going to try and tie the java moss onto that top rock there, and I'm probably going to take out the hornwort just because it grows way too fast and I don't want to have to rip it out and lose some of my eggs. I've got a foam right there to cover up my filter intake. And yeah, the molly won't be wasted. So let's see how far we get. Well, here's where we got for tonight. I changed my mind and decided to try this guy here. It's got a bit of a gap in the top. Let me know if you think that's going to be a problem. I left one string of the hornworth in there, just for some cover for us to fry. There's my wonderful blue string on my java moss. And I stuck a little sword plant in the back, or sword plant corkscrew valve in the back, hopefully it'll start to grow. Found my snail while I was doing a water change. <laughs> and the molly gets to live another day. <laughs> so, hopefully these guys like what I did. I thought I'd better give you a little update on Potato before we go. She's doing good. He really gave her a lick and she had a chunk taken off the one side and no scales on the other side. Yeah. I see the bald spot there. But she's healing alright. Take you over to the babies. So they are starting to swim around. I hope we'll get the flashlight. I was focusing on them. A couple on the top there. Well, so they're swimming around, eating some brine shrimp. Doing good. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I do have a question. If you have a pea puffer, give me a link to your channel or a shout down in the comments there. Kind of nosy to watch a few more videos on how to take care of the things. Thanks guys.